God is so good. He's so good to me. I'll do your will. Come on, join him with me. I'll do your services on today just wanted to just enter into a time of thanksgiving and just expressing to the Lord that, that he loves us and we love him and we just want to give back to him as the psalmist said bless the Lord oh our soul and everything that within us bless his holy name and that's what we're here to do again I want to encourage you to like share and subscribe today as we enter into our time of worship and praise to the Lord but let's pray and let's ask the Lord's blessing upon the service today because I'm believing for supernatural grace. I'm believing that he's going to meet our needs in a special way. We pray for our man of God and those that are going to be coming and minister to us in praise and worship. We're just going to lift them up and we pray for you as well. That the, the spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge will rest upon you. The eyes of your understanding is enlightened that you'll know what is the hope of God's calling for on your life. Folks, that's what it's all about. I don't know about you, but I want to be led by the Spirit of God. I want to be directed by God. I just don't want to go through the motions anymore. I just want to do God's will. Amen. Let's pray. Father, thank you for another day. Another opportunity as we come together in your name. Thank you for your word. Thank you for Holy Spirit. Ever living, enabling us, and empowering us to carry out your will, your plan, your purpose in our lives and up on this earth. We bless you for who you are this morning. We bless you for guiding us and leading us and filling us and teaching us your way. And now, Lord, we pray that the word of the Lord will have a free course, that every need of every person will be met uh, in this place and across the globe. And we pray, Father God, that you will anoint every ear to hear as you anoint the lips of those that will be ministering and sharing today by your spirit. We just give you praise as we commit these services to you now. In the mighty and the precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray We give you the glory. In Jesus' name, and all of God's people say it, amen. Hallelujah. All right, let's get ready to go into our praise and worship time. God, hallelujah, and happy Pentecost Sunday. Let's just lift our hands and magnify and lift up the name of Jesus wherever you are. We thank you, Lord God, for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for sending us a helper. Lord God, we thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit today. We thank you, Lord God, that your word says that our faith is the victory that overcomes the world. And so we stand, we stand on your word today, and we walk in the freedom that you've given us. So let's say, I will walk in the freedom that Christ has given me. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. Come on.
faith is the victory that overcomes the world. We are free in you. Hallelujah. Let's declare that freedom. You are our light. You are our salvation. Whom shall we fear? Hallelujah. Let's just meditate on that for just a few moments. The Lord is our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? We're going to trust the Lord. Amen. Let's declare that today. Say, I will. I will. Trust the Lord. Trust the Lord. Hallelujah. I trust it in you. I trust it in your word, which we know is, is, is a sure word of prophecy. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Yeah. The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. I will wait on you. Said I will trust in you. I will trust in you. The Lord is my salvation. Yes, you are. Say, who shall I fear? Who shall I be afraid? Declare that the Lord is my light. The Lord is my and my salvation. Trust in you. I will trust in you. I put my trust in you. I will trust, I put my trust in you.
confident. Look confident. Your word is true. We are more than conquerors. We already know this because your word tells us so. So we reverence your presence. We reverence your presence today. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Have your way in this service today. Keep us in remembrance even after we're in our, in our everyday lives. Keep us in remembrance of your word. Thank you, Father. Mighty you are, holy you are, your mercy endureth forevermore. Righteous you are, great you are, I will exalt you, O Lord, my God, my King. Mighty you are, holy. Righteous you are great, great you are. I will exalt you, O Lord, my God, my King. I will exalt you, O Lord, my God. I will exalt you, O Lord, my God, my King. We reverence your presence here today. Jesus for sending our help. Thank you, Jesus, for sending us Holy Spirit. We magnify you. And Holy Spirit, you're invited. You're welcome here to move, to give us clear understanding, to just overall have your way in our lives. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Let's give the Lord a wave offering. Let's offer this offering of praise and worship to him right now. We reverence your presence, almighty God. Hallelujah. Please stay tuned. Good morning and welcome to Bell News. We have some exciting news. Join us every Sunday, beginning on June 6th, for one service at 9.30 a.m. That's right, one service at 9.30 a.m. We will be live on Facebook, or you can catch us on YouTube. Attention all educators. Breath of Life Preparatory Academy is hiring for preschool and elementary teachers. Apply now. Simply email your resume to hr at bolcc.org. Again, that's hr at bolcc.org. Let's get fit. The Breath of Life Sports and Recreation Ministry will resume classes on Tuesday, May 11th at 6 p.m. Zumba and Mixed Fit will be offered every Tuesday and aerobics will be offered every Thursday. Classes are just $3 and can be paid the day of. These classes are open to the public. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, there will be no access to the building. All classes will be held on the East parking lot. Can't wait to see you there. This concludes Bell News. We'll see you here or on Zoom this Wednesday at 7 p.m. sharp. Thank you for joining us and have a blessed week. All right, it's offering time. Hallelujah. What a privilege it is to bring our tithes and our offering unto the Lord. You know, it's just a way of life. I believe that if people would, if we all would just honor God and just give him praise. You know, that was a saying years ago, you know, we used to get up and say, giving honor to God who is the head of my life and to the pastor and all, you know, those in authority. But how many know, God 
God wants us to honor him, and he tells us how to honor him. So our scripture, uh, offertory message or lesson scripture would be from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 and 10, which says, honor the Lord with your wealth. We're talking coming out of the New Living Translation as well. And with the best part of everything you produce. Isn't that good? No, we lost it now. You want to honor me? Honor me with your wealth. Honor me with your, the things you already have. And then I want the best part of everything you produce. You know, God don't want us to just bring anything to him. He wants the best part. And I don't know about you, but you probably want the best part of everything that comes your way. Then verse uh, 10 says, this is what it will happen. When we do that, he said, then will he fill your buns with grain and your vats shall overflow with good wine. Now, y'all watch that wine now. Overflow with good wine, signifying it gives you the best and the joy of living. It's when we put God first, honor him with the first fruit and the, and the best part. Then God said, I'm going to fill your bun with plenty, and I'm going to cause your presses to burst out with new wine. So, I don't know about you, but I've been doing this for over 40-some years, and I've, I've found out when you just obey God, I don't try to have to figure it out when he's already worked it out. Just obey and do what he said do, and you'll see the blessing flow upon your life like never before. Come on, let's, let's get ready to give our tithes and offering. Let's pray. Father, thank you as we bring our tithes and offering before you, the first part of our increase. Lord, you've been good to us. You've blessed us. You're the one that's keeping us. We thank you for our jobs, our businesses. We thank you all the ways and means of, of getting wealth. And Father God, we thank you for even our investments is, is doing well, Father. We declare and decree, Lord God, that because we honor you with our first fruit, and the best part, Lord God, that I, you're filling our bank accounts with plenty. You're filling us, oh God, everything that we have with plenty, that we have more than enough to put in store. We just give you praise now as we worship you, Lord God, with our tithes and all. Not just trying to get it from you, Lord God, but we're here to be in, in obedience to your word, to your way, and worship you, giving back a portion that you have blessed us with. Oh, how we love you. Oh, how we magnify you. How we lift up your name, which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus we bow. We confess that Jesus is Lord over our finances. You're Lord over our house. You're Lord over our businesses. You're Lord over all of our finances and our investment, Lord God. We give you praise today as we magnify your name. To God be the glory, to you be the honor and the praise. In Jesus' precious name we pray, and all of God's people say it, amen. Hallelujah. All right, let's get ready for the Word of God. Something good is about to happen to you. The Word of God and the Spirit of God is coming your way in Jesus' name. Welcome to our services today. Glad to have you with us today. We believe you're going to be blessed from the Word of God. Every time you hear the Word of God, you get blessed, though. So I welcome all of you here today and believe that, that you will receive life as the Word of God comes your way today. Praise God. I want you to bow your heads with me now as we get into the service today. Father, we thank you. We give you glory and praise for all the wonderful things that you have blessed us with and things that you have done. We know the things, Father God, that you do are what you've already done. For you declare the ending from the beginning. And uh, we, we, we thank you and we praise you for, for all your goodness, for all your, your, your pleasures. We thank you. We're asking you today, Father God, to open our spiritual eyes as we open our hearts to receive the living word of God today. We believe, Father God, that the word of God is the answer that all mankind needs. It is what you have sent to heal us day by day, month by month, 
it is, it is sent to, to bring life to us, and we are gathered here today, Father, to receive it. We also pray for every person that is receiving this message today or any time soon or in in whatever way they are receiving it. We believe that the anointing is upon it. The anointing will change people's lives, and people will be the better for hearing the word today. To this end, Father, we so submit ourselves to you as I submit myself to you, spirit, soul, and body, that you will use it in any way that you deem necessary to feed us with the word of God today. We'll be forever grateful and give you all of the thanks, all of the glory, and all of the praise. In Jesus Christ's name, we ask it and believe we receive it done and, and give you thanks. Amen. All right. Praise God today. I believe we'll, you, you'll get blessed from the word of God today. So I want you to open your Bibles now to John chapter 15. We'll start at verse 18. The gospel of John. The Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse uh, 18. We'll continue through verse 19 there. It says, If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own, but because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Now you have to understand that you're not going to be loved by the world. Praise God. I want to talk to you from this subject matter. In which world are you living? In which world are you living? Amen. And, uh, 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 we're, we're, we're talking about evil versus righteousness, wickedness versus righteousness. Where are you living? You'll find out today that God wants you to always be living in his kingdom. Amen. So Jesus put something to us. Now notice he said if the world, that means he's talking about the people of the world. If they hate you, just know that they, they hated him before they hated us. Get a hold of that. Now, this word hate, don't get it mixed up. Well, you know, people just detest you and can't stand you. Don't want to be around you so to the point to where they want to hurt you and throw you out. Well, I guess there can be some of that in there. But the, the, when the Bible talks about hate, it's really talking about not loving fully, not loving fully. And you have to understand also that most of the time people not hating you because you think you so much in the word of God or, you know, in the spirit of God, they are hating you because they don't understand you. So get a hold of that. Jesus said the world hated him. And we supposed as much as we can be just like him. Amen. And uh, the, the more we try to be like him, the more the world won't understand us, the people who, who are, haven't received Jesus Christ. They won't, re, they, they, they won't understand us, so we'll, you, you can't feel it as if they are hating you because they don't like you and they want to do you harm and all that. Many of them wish they could talk like you talk, act like you act, but they don't have, in, they don't have inside of them what we have. So we don't get angry with them. We don't get mad with them. We just don't expect them to be able to love us because, because the love of God is not in them. Bible says in Romans 5, 5, the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Well, the Holy Ghost is given unto us when we are born again. And if you haven't been born again, <clears throat> then you don't have the Spirit of God inside you. And the Spirit of God is the one who brought, brings the God, the God kind of love into us, the God pay love into us. So, uh, they, you know, you can't have it. They cannot have it. They can't know the love of God because uh, the Spirit of God hasn't 
been hasn't entered into them because that's when the love of God enters when we are born again. So so we have to cut them some slack. You know, you remember when you were in the world, you, you know, you wanted people to cut you some slack. And we and once we realize these type things, we it can help us to e more easily uh, love folk because we know we got this other kind of love, this agape love, this this love that God has sent into our hearts, crying to Abba Father. They don't have that. We didn't have it at one time. But since we have it now, we should be able to tolerate a little bit more than some of us do. So I want to know which world are, are you living in? Jesus is going to talk about, talk about it today, and I want to share it with you through me as, as he has shown it to me. So he said, if the world... If, the, if, if, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. World, no, to hate it means continues to hate you. So, so uh, don't, don't expect any love from the world. They don't, they don't have it to yield. If you're not born again, Folk don't have the kind of love we're talking about to give because they haven't received it, so don't expect it. But God still expects us to try to share that love with them, to try to bring it to them, and then for them to be able to see it in our lives. Praise God. Now, I want to, talk to, I want to, want to start off with this. To be born again is to be born again from above. A whole lot of people don't know that. Many people do now, thank God. I mean, years back, you know, people look at you uh, like you were crazy when you said that. But it said, to be born again is to be born from above. Open your Bibles to, God, to uh, the Gospel of John, where we are. Just go back to chapter 3. Let's go back to chapter 3. The Gospel of John, chapter 3 and verse 3 in the Amplified Bible. The Amplified Bible, uh, uh, John chapter 3, verse 3. It says, Jesus answered him, I assure you most solemnly, I tell you that, not, that I, now listen to me closely, that unless a person is born again, a new from above, unless a person is, is, is born again, a new, a new creature, a new thing, praise God. From above, he cannot ever see or know or be acquainted with and experience the kingdom of God. Get a hold of that. Unless the person is born again. So don't expect people who are not born again to have the capacity to act like you. It, it can't happen because they haven't received what you have received if you are indeed born of God. Amen. Now, uh, let's read that out of that uh, Amplified Classic. Let's, let's read it right there as well. Same verse. Do you have it? You back? I, got it in. I, got it. I got it here. Uh, the classic. It says, if the world hates you, know that it hated me before it hated you. That, I'm, I'm still back there. Let me, let me take this one on back to chapter 3 as well. John chapter 3 and verse 3, was it? Yeah. Says, Jesus answered him, I assure you. Uh, that, that's the same one. He said in the same thing. No, it's not. I assure you. No, I was reading that first, I guess, then. All right, I'm going to go to the regular one. Jesus, Jesus assured him, I, Jesus answered him, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, unless a person is born again, reborn from above. That's what I want you to hear. Reborn from above. Now, if you got a, a, a paperback Bible, a good one, It'll, it'll, it'll have in the, in the uh, 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 cross references there, it will have that the, the born from above. Well, that's what born again means. 
It means you have been born from above. God has, has, has breathed his breath into you and, 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 and the spirit of God has come into you. And, and because of the spirit of God coming into you, this is the first time you are receiving the love of God inside you. And, and I always remember, I'm going to say this in passing, God's love is in us for us to give it away. When our, our, when our physical love, that means love, conditional love, uh, that is, it, it, uh, when, when we run out of that, <laughs> when, we don't, we, when, when we want to tear somebody's head off, if we're a Christian, we, got, we cannot do that, but then we got, we got God's love in us, and that's what God wants us to revert to. That's what he means when he says, uh, uh, somebody slapped you on one cheek, turn, turn your other cheek to him. That's what the Bible is talking about. I wouldn't advise you to do that, <laughs> you know what I mean, if you're not really walking in the love of God. Uh, because we got a higher love, the love that has come from God by the Spirit that's living inside of us. And... Uh, we, 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 can, we can revert to that love. Amen. So uh, he, he said that unless a person is born again anew from above, he cannot ever see, know, be acquainted with, and experience the kingdom of God. Get a hold of that. So uh, I want to read it in both. I may have read it in, in the same one because they sound alike. But uh, uh, so to be born again is to be born from above. Remember that. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to come into play here in a minute. Uh, it is to be born from above. And uh, now let's, let's look at uh, John. Uh, let's look at verse 25. 25. Now notice he said to be born again is to be born from above. Now let's go to verse 25 and visit that for a moment. Therefore, I'm in amplified, I'm in amplified Bible now. Therefore, there arose a controversy between some of John's disciples and a Jew, and a Jew in regard to purification. Go on. So they came to John and reported to him, Rabbi, the man who was with you on the other side of, of the Jordan, at the Jordan crossing, and to whom you yourself have have born testimony, notice, here he is baptizing too, and everybody is flocking to him. Go on. John answered, listen to this now, a man can receive nothing he can claim, nothing he can take unto himself, nothing except as it has been granted to him from heaven. A man must be content to receive the gift which is given him from heaven. There is no other source. Now right here I want to stop a moment and let you know uh, J John is telling people now Jesus is greater than he is. See, his, 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 his uh, workers wanted to you know, protect him. And they, they were having a hard time with the fact that Jesus, well, Jesus didn't baptize anybody with water, but his disciples did. And uh, uh, they were baptizing and folk were coming to them to be baptized. John, and we're talking about John the Baptist. John recognized that his time in the earth was about to be over. He recognized that he had to decrease while Jesus uh, increased in ministry because, because Jesus had come from a bull. See, Jesus came from a bull. Get a hold of that. Now, we know we, we, we've been found, we found out in John 3 that when we're born again, we are born from a bull. Where well, Jesus came into the earth and he was born from a bull because the Spirit of God was his. Daddy, you know, the, the, the way he got, the, got conceived was by the Spirit of God through a, through a woman called Mary, his mother, Mary. So John is letting his, letting his workers know that he, John, John is not wanting to take any credit for the, the ministry he had, had, had lived. 
in, in this earth. But he, he did know that he wasn't here to stay, that somebody was coming greater than him, and they were coming as the Messiah from, 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 from born from above. Let's go on here now. Uh, he's, now, verse 28, you yourselves are my witnesses. You personally bear me out that I stated I am not the Christ, the anointed one, the Messiah, but I have only been sent before him. I'm in advance of him to be his appointed forerunner, his messenger, uh, his messenger, his, uh, his announcer, uh, and his announcer. Now, he has the bride, and in, he has the bride. He that has the bride is the bridegroom. But the bridegroom who stands by and listens to him rejoices greatly and heartily on account of the bridegroom boy. This then is my pleasure in my that this then is my pleasure and joy. And it is now complete. Now John was happy. He's happy because Jesus has come into the earth. He's happy because the people, the crowds are going to be baptized. Of Jesus. Jesus was offering a higher, a higher life experience by, by, by what he was baptizing in, you see. And uh, John was just baptizing unto, unto get the washing away of sin. But Jesus was come and he was baptizing, and John was just always baptizing, uh, you know, to, to get a people ready for Jesus to be baptized with. Praise God. Now, uh, uh, that, that's verse 29. Uh, let's let's uh, go on. Read on. Let's read a few bit more right here. This is where I was trying to get to. He said, he must increase, but I must decrease. Notice, John telling his folk, Jesus must increase, but I must increase. He must grow more prominent. I must grow less prominent or less so. Now, I want, to, want, want you to understand this because John saying Jesus is greater than I and he must increase. Now, remember, we were born from above. If you're born from above, you, that means you're born again. Jesus came from above, the Bible teaches. He came from above. So when we get born again, we have the same experience that Jesus had. We were, we've been born from a bull. That's why we get God's love in us. That's why we get God's spirit in us. That's why we get to, be, to, to use the name of Jesus Christ. See, we have the word working inside of us. If we put it in there, we have the word working inside of us. So we have to understand that we have come from above. Now, now I, I said all that to say this. We now have to realize that we we got to our, in the flesh, our flesh got to decrease so that the spirit of God in us and the love of God in us and the word of God working in us. So 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 our spirit man can increase. Get a hold of that. Just, just like Jesus came from above and John said, I had a time in the world, but now I have to, in, I have to decrease so that he, the one who came from above, can increase. And that's, listen, listen to this. You have to then, if you're going to know the, 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 the pleasures of God, if you're going to know the word of God, you're going to know a relationship with God, you have to realize that your flesh has to decrease. Get a hold of that. So that your newborn spirit, you, that, that person that's born anew in you, so he can increase, your, your flesh has to decrease, has to decrease, so that you, the born-again spirit that's living in your body, can increase. That means so you can, you can begin to do the works Jesus did. You can begin to, to love like Jesus loved. You can begin to, to, to be able to take time with people like Jesus did and do the works that he did. Remember in verse 14, the Bible said, Jesus said himself, those who, those who, who are of, of me, those, those who believe in me, the works that I do 
shall they do? And so this is where we are getting that power. This is where we are getting that, that, that hook up with Jesus. We've been born from above. We've been born from above. Now, we're working up to a point here. So you got to see that, that, that I know, I know uh, John was talking about Jesus had to decrease, but we're talking about in, in, in the earth, in this, in this world, in this world. But, but now the spirit of God has come inside of us. And that same experience that John had with, with, with Jesus, when you get born again, that's the way your spirit does coming inside you so that your flesh decreases. So your spirit, the spirit of God inside of you and the, the, your human spirit can increase, can increase. So you, you can love with the same love that God does. The, the love that God is, we can love with it because it came from God in the person of the Holy Spirit. Get a hold of that. And so, so I wanted you to, to really see that and, and walk in it. Let's go on to the uh, next verse. Verse uh, 31. He who comes from above, heaven, is far above all other. Get a hold of that. He who comes from above, heaven, is far above all others. Now, we know Jesus came from heaven. And he was, he, he, he was above all others. But wait a minute now. If you're born again, the Bible says we came from heaven. The spirit that's living in you, the, the new you, the newly created you, came from heaven. Talking about the same experience Jesus had. We just got it a little later. Jesus had to pay the price for us to get it. But he who comes from above is far above all others. So God expects born again Christians to be able to live lifestyles far above all folk who came. God expects that. Now, I know we, we, we you know, uh, some Christians are at different levels because you're born, you know, in, 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 let me use this term, you're born as a baby in spiritual things because that means you don't know much about spirit, the, the, the word of God. But as we, as we uh, remain in the body of Christ, we should grow. And the way you grow is to get more knowledge that you walk in, to get more knowledge that you are beginning to experience and live. Otherwise, you will stay a baby not having much knowledge about the kingdom of God. Get a hold of that. So he said, he who comes from above is far above all others. That's the way God wants us to be. That's the way God wants us to be. Matter of fact, I want to, I want to throw another scripture here. Uh, Y'all may have to look it up back there, but go to, go to uh, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 5. First Corinthians 5. I think it's 1 Corinthians. Corinthians 5.16. No, 2 Corinthians 5.16. <laughs> right? It's worth the trip. It's worth the trip to go over there now. Go, 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 on, go on over there. 2 Corinthians 5.16. Wherefore, henceforth know we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, Yet no, now, henceforward, know him no more. Why? He came from the he came from the above. We should know Christ spiritually, not fleshly. We've been born from above. We should now. Let's read. Let's read this next 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 verse. He said, "Therefore, if any man be in Christ, if you born again, you born into Christ. You're a member of the body of Christ. If any man be in Christ." He is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, things are become, all things have become new. All things have become new. So when you get born again, you are born from above and a brand new person has come into existence. 
inside, inside your same body, there's another uh, spirit life that, that's driving you now. That's the way, and so if, if, when, we, when we begin to feed the word of God, feed on the word of God, then walk in, in obedience, walking out those experiences that the word of God teaches, then we, we have, should be living a higher life just like Jesus. We came, we came down from above. Jesus came down from above. I'm, I'm, I'm going somewhere with, with this now. Praise God. So, so get a hold of that. Let's go back over. Let's go back over to John, Gospel of John 3, 5. 3, 5. Showing you we, we were born from above. See, verily, verily. Well, Jesus answered. That's where I want to start, yeah. Verily, verily, I say unto you, unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit, capital S spirit, Holy Spirit, is little s spirit. That means... Uh, you, you, when you get born again, you're born of the Holy Spirit, and you now are a spirit born of the Holy Spirit. See, you are now of a spirit. You, you, your human spirit, you have a, a spirit that's alive now to God, alive to the Holy Spirit, alive to, to, to Jesus Christ. Praise God. Go, let's read on. He said, Marvin not. That I said unto thee, said, said unto thee, you must be born again. Get a hold of it. He said, he said don't marvel about that. You, you, you must be. You got to be born again. Otherwise, if you're just going to church and you haven't had the born again experience, I mean the experience, <laughs> you haven't had, Jesus, had, had, had the spirit of God come inside you. See, uh, uh, and, and you'll know when he comes in there because down inside of you, you'll, you'll sense something different. You'll sense something different. Now, you might not know what that is, but it's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's, that's in Romans uh, 14, 17, I believe. It's righteousness uh, uh, and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. See? Amen. So, so uh, you, you, you've been born from a bull. We're we finding out why the world can't handle us, why we live in a new world. And too many Christians not living in this new world, or you could call it the, the, the kingdom of God, uh, the spirit of God. See, you, you might not be living, you, living a different life, but God wants you to. God has sent the equipment that you, need, you can get a hold of and you can start living this new life. That's what God wants of us. Amen. Uh, 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 now let's, let's go to... Oh, let's... let's, let's Open your Bibles to, to uh, Ephesians chapter 2 now. Remember, born again people are from above. Amen. Satan is the prince of this world. The Bible te teaches that. He will never be born again. Satan can never be born again. So consequently, consequently, he cannot be born from the, from the Spirit of God. He, can, he cannot be born from a bull. And that's, that's because of sin. Now, Jesus came from above and will always be not of this world. He's living down here in the earth. But he's not of the earth. He's of, he's of the, 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 the world that's above. He's of heaven. He's up. He's of the place where God's, God lives. Get a hold of that. So when we are born again, that's, that's, that's what God does with us. He trans, transfers us into another dimension of spirit life. Another dimension is called spirit life. Get a hold of that. 
Ephesians, Ephesians 2 and, and 1. I want to read those. Ephesians 2 and 1. Notice what it said. And you, you is talking about you now. This, this old thing you see, this body, uh, you, the, the person living in there. You had he quickened. Now, anytime you read the, the word quickened in the, in the New Testament, it, it means manner of living, the way you live, see, the lifestyle that you live. He said, you had he quickened or made alive who were dead in trespasses and sin. Be, before you accepted Jesus Christ, you were dead to God. Get a hold of that. You, 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 weren't, you were not related to God. You were related to the devil spiritually. The Bible says in John 8, 44, that the devil is your, is your father if you're not born again. The devil is your father, spiritual father. That's why you raise so much hell. That's why people act so, so crazy when, they, when, they, when, they, when, they, when they're not walking in this born again spirit, you see. When the love of God is not active in their lives, when, they, when they, don't, they don't realize and walk in their awareness that they were born from another place. They, they are members of another place, then it's called the kingdom of God, or, or, or this, we, we, can, we, we can say this new world, see, the kingdom of God. Now, in the, he, drop down to verse 6. It said, and hath raised us up. Notice this, notice this. And hath raised, that, that, that's past tense action. See, when you, when, you, when you get born again, you, you, you were dead in sin and trespasses. But now you born again, notice what happened. God is, has raised us up. See, when you, got, when you accepted Jesus Christ, in that little time that it took to receive Jesus Christ, God translated us from this physical world, this, 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 this fleshly world, he translated us into another heavenly place. And he had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Get a hold of that. In Christ, you got born into the Christ. You are a member of the body of Christ. The anointing that's on Jesus is on you because you are a member of the, the spiritual body called Christ. When you hear the word Christ, sometimes people are talking about all of, you know, Jesus. Just, a, just, a, just, just put it up to Jesus. But if you born again, Jesus now is a, he's a new man. That oh praise God! I'm, I'm going off of this. I might not need to go here because uh, it takes a lot of time to deal with it. But Adam, you know, Adam caused the sin, and, and, and he he died spiritually. He died from from being able to hang with God a, a lot of time. You know, all the time he died. He he died from being associated with God, and and. This, this Christ I'm talking about, this new body of Christ I'm talking about, this, this one new body, Jesus is the head, and then every Christian that gets born again t takes a place in this body of, of Jesus, his body. And uh, uh, he said, he said when, so when you, when you get born again, you come into the body of Christ. You have a, a place in there that God has fit has, has made just for you to be in there and help, you know, helping to do, get, get the job done. He, he, we have been raised up together and made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We are one with Jesus' body, the body of Christ. We are one with him. Get a hold of that. So then, I want you to, I, I said all this today, to say this to you. So then, don't expect to be treated like God if you walking in the world. Don't expect people to love you who are not walking with God. 
this, this world cannot love you. It, it doesn't have in it what, what is needed for you to have, touch the love of God. Now, God has love, his love in people who have, who have been born again, in some Christians. Some Christians act like they don't have it, but it's there. And, and, and then some Christians have, have realized that it's there and they have changed the way they live. And, 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 th and those Christians can get you hooked up with life, see? Because this world will, is, will never love you. This world will always hate you. The body of Christ is not of this world. Get a hold of that. I'm, I'm going to give you these four scriptures, then I'm going to leave. John, 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 let's go back to John. John is the one who does a lot of talking about this. John 18, 36. John 18, 36, Big John, the Gospel of John, Big Bad John, 18, 36. It says, Jesus answered, my kingdom, this is Jesus Christ talking, in, from the world, he's in the world, my, he's in the earth, let me say it like that. My kingdom, see, Jesus has a kingdom. He has a kingdom that he can put you in. Amen. My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. See, he's, he's about to get, be crucified now. That I should not be delivered to the Jew. But now is my kingdom not from hence. It's not from hence. Hence mean here. It's not from here. Uh, uh, let's look at let's look at uh, John seventeen sixteen now. So we we find out Jesus' kingdom is not from here, and we've been raised up together with Him. We are connected to Him. We are in the body of Christ. We got the same anointing. We got the same Spirit. We got the same Word of God. We got the same name, Jesus Christ. We got the same name. John, John 17, 16 said, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Get a hold of that. Read the verse before that. Go back to, to, to before that, if, if, verse 15. He's talking about his people. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. See, uh, uh, God is not, he's not going to take us out of this earth, this old, old uh, fleshly, fleshly world. It's a spiritual thing. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but I, I pray, I'm praying that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. See, to, to, live, to live in this world, you need to be kept. You need to be separated from the evil that's in this world. Don't, don't accept Jesus Christ and then go back to this evil, wicked world with all kind of junk in it, you, same stuff that the folk, folk had for you before you accepted him. You've been born from above. The love of God is inside of you. <laughs> you got you to gotta let that flesh decrease. You, so your spirit man, that new person that you have become, so he can increase. He got to feed on the word of God. He got to got to pray in tongues. He got he got to do all of that good stuff that that the Bible tells us to do. Get a hold of that. Jesus said, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. You're not going anywhere. You just got to learn how to live when you get, get to be a born again Christian. You can't just keep going to church, you know, just like you did when, before you accepted Jesus. You don't go there to just do, do, do ceremonial stuff and traditional stuff and all that. You go there to worship and praise Jesus Christ, feed on his word and, 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 and be a blessing to people. Let's look at a uh, I want you, want you to see this in a few places. That's, that's the, what chapter was that? Look at John 17. Is that the one we just read? Look at John, yeah, 17, verse 14. Look at it. I have given them thy word. This is what Jesus said. I have given them thy word. What's he giving you his word for? God's word for so you can can get it inside you, read it, and, and feed off it. He said, I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them. 
Don't expect the world to love you. You got the word of God in you. The world can't do anything but hate you. So you might as well expect it so you don't be disappointed so much. How many people run away from churches because somebody step on their toe or talk about them or something like that? You, why, why does that happen? You expect and love from the world. You got to expect love from inside, the love of God that's inside you. Because they are not of this world. They are not of this world, even as I am not of the world. The world hates you because they are not out this world, of this world. They don't know why they don't like you to be around you. They don't know why, why they, they, they used to like being around you, but they don't, they, not, they don't like being around you now. They don't even know why. But you know why. You should be learning now why. It's because... It's because Jesus has given us his word and we, got, we, we believe in the Bible and people don't want you to believe the Bible. They want you to do what they always did with you. They don't want you to get into this new world. They, they still living in the old world. And you got you, you born again trying to live in that world and they're going to hate you they, they, because you're going to think you something, they say. So that world wasn't meant for you. It wasn't meant for you to find love there in the world. In the world, you know, churches got some flaws. Christians got some flaws, but but you, that's the best. That's the best going. That's the best going. See, amen. Until you go and you go and you go and and bring some perfection. You go and and start walking in who you are from above. You go and walking in the kingdom of God. You've been raised up and made to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Start acting like that. Start ex exercising your authority. Let's look at the last one, John 17. Let's go down to 15. 15. John 17, 15. All, then we're gonna, we want, I want to go from 15 to 19. That's where I want to read from. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. Go on, we just said that. Thou shalt keep them from the evil. Yeah, 16, verse 16. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Notice what Jesus is saying about people who, who, who born again and know who they are in Christ. They are not of the world. God's people are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Now, are you trying to be in God's world and the, and the, and the world's world? No, God translated you out. He made you sit in heavenly places, and you up there mourning about going back down and do the boogaloo. <laughs> you better want to get in the world. You want to do everything worldly folk do. That's why uh, Christians get ashamed when they get around people who want to do worldly stuff and you want to be friends with them. They can't love you. They cannot love you. There's no way. They don't, they, they don't understand you. So the only way for you to, 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 to get back tight with them, when I said tight, I don't know what, how y'all use that word, but I mean close and good fellowship. The only way to get back there is for you to go back where they are. You go back to that other world. You don't want to go back to that other world. You, you in a new world. Praise God. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Go on. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. This is where you need to get, see? Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. Yeah, this is where you need to be so that you can, you, can, you, you can buy yourself and with all the other Christians, get some new Christian friends so that y'all can stay in this world that Jesus is of. Jesus wants us to be with him right now. The, the last verse. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so I have also sent them into the world. I see Jesus had, had, had come into this new world, and now he's telling us, he's getting us in, over into this new world. It's called the kingdom of God. That's what it's called. The kingdom of God is what it's called. 
Amen. And, I, 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 and I'm begging you, or not begging you, but I'm in, encouraging you to realize who you are, what investment God has made in you. He has invested his word, his spirit. He has invested uh, uh, Jesus Christ's name that you can use. He has invested all of these things for you to use, and don't try to hang out in that other world. God wants you to walk in the awareness that you are not of this world. You got to be translated into another world. My time is up. We got to go for today. Praise God. I certainly hope that you've been blessed from the message today. Uh, there might be someone here today that never has received Jesus Christ in your life. You don't have any of those things I talked about today. You're still in this old fleshly world. And, and you're going to be, you, you, nothing out there for you, but what, spiritual hatred. The devil hates you. He wants to make you think he's giving you a good time. But that's because he hates you, and he wants you to keep living in that old bad world, fleshly world that he lives in. But he knows, he knows that there's another world. Get a hold of that. He was in that world before. Got kicked out of it. Jesus said, I saw him fall fast as lightning. He got kicked out of it. Got to know somebody ain't got good sense that they were they started in heaven down in hell. You know that that's 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 somebody who's not too intelligent. So we so if you you're here today and you want to be and you want to come into the kingdom of God, I want you to follow me in this prayer because God wants you in His kingdom. He wants you where He is. He wants you where he is. He wants you seated in heavenly places beside him. He wants all those things for you. See, these are spiritual things that we can have right now. He has already done. So just, 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 just uh, follow me in this quick prayer. Father God, I come to you just as I am. I know that you know my life and my heart. I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sin. I also believe that you, Father, raised him from the dead for my justification, my righteousness. Jesus, because you've been raised from the dead, come and live in me. Live in my heart. Make something beautiful of my life. I believe that you are accepting my invitation, Jesus, and you are coming into my heart. You come into my life. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm translated into the new world. I'm, he I'm healed. I'm whole. I'm on the right road to prosperity. Thank you, Father, for accepting me. All right. Praise God. If you, if you prayed that prayer with me now, I want you to put your eyes on the, on the uh, uh, oh, Lord, what is the thing? <laughs> on the screen. Put your eyes on the screen. If you just prayed that prayer with me, welcome to the family. I have a gift for you. It is a short, easy-to-read book that is powerful and life-changing and will help you on your journey. I want to give it to you free in order for you to develop a solid foundation. So contact me. Let me know that you would like to receive it. You can request it by calling our pastoral support number or using the postal address. That information should be on your screen. I thank you for taking this first step toward your new life. All right, thank God for you. If you prayed that prayer with us, we want you to, so to get a hold of that, that book real quickly so that you can, can get, you know, get, get those other steps taken down so that you can, uh, you know, be in the kingdom of God and you, you, you probably be wondering what the next thing is where you get that little book you, you find out and uh, do what it tells you to do. And by the time uh, you, you get the things done that it tells you to do, 
you will have found a whole bunch more good Christian people to fellowship with. We praise and God for you now. Thank God for you that you've come into the kingdom of God. Welcome into this kingdom. All right, praise God. We got to go now. I've certainly enjoyed you today. Uh, but, but always remember that Jesus is Lord and holiness is the lifestyle that wins in this earth. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.